from unemployment to a volatile stock market. Americans are unsure of what the future holds. But for Oklahomans, more and more people are being hired daily and new businesses continue to open. We're actually holding pretty firm when you look at employment, unemployment, and the other kind of economic indicators. Deidre Myers is an economist with the Oklahoma Department of Commerce and says Oklahomans handled the recession well. Our highest unemployment rate was 7.3% in the recession. That was nearly three points less than the nation. So it kind of gives you a, a feel of, yes, there are definitely families that struggled during the recession, but Oklahoma generally has an economy that held firm and provided stability and predictability for businesses to continue to grow. And according to Oklahoma City Chamber President Roy Williams, that predictability serves the metro as it thrives and expands. The job situation is really at a phenomenal pace right now. Across the country, a lot of the metropolitan areas have been struggling a lot, but we continue to lead the nation in unemployment right here. So we have many, many companies that are actively hiring, actively engaged in relocation here. And so we're seeing some extremely positive signs. Signs that trace their roots back to the community. And we've made a significant investment on our community over the last 20 years, which means we've spent a lot of time and a lot of money on creating a quality place. But in addition to that, when you look at what our core industry sectors are, they're all really growth industries, and that's not the same for a lot of metro areas. And one growth industry fueling the metro? Aerospace. And it saved Al DiGiorgio and his family, who fled a failing economy in Phoenix. It's certainly, uh, I would say, very close to the two extremes. Uh, the economic downturn is really hitting Phoenix very, very hard. Uh, lots of family and friends who still live there, and uh, I hear about the pain and agony and the problems and uh, crime issues uh, that we were very used to dealing with in Phoenix. Things are now looking up, both for DeGiorio and the industry he works in. You know, I, I look at how, how many people we have working here at the hangar, for example, and uh, just uh, two years ago, uh, I would say we probably expanded at least 50%. And such success stories are not limited to urban areas. Sitting just west of Oklahoma City, the smaller community of Yukon is experiencing their own economic surge. We've had a lot of business growth that has really enabled us to um, keep a labor force that really can find opportunity with good paying jobs. Yukon Chamber of Commerce Executive Director Paisley Hopkins. If you have a specific sort of job that really does require you to be at a company in the city, um, the drive from Yukon is not much of anything. And you're able to move to Yukon, you can buy a bigger house with a bigger yard, with great schools. And just down the street, great health care. But according to recruitment specialist Lori McMahon, Integris isn't bulletproof. We have been affected by the economy um, starting in 2008, like everybody else, because we are a business. Um, however, health care continues to grow. Um, our population is aging. So we will always have the need for clinical people with licensure. <laughs> And one of those recent hirees is Chief Nursing Officer Teresa Gray. It can be difficult um, trying to find the right job. Um, I think Integris has a lot of facilities and a lot of opportunities, so I was very fortunate when this position came up and very fortunate to be selected. And while being fresh off the job search, she's fielding job applications in her new position. Next. Tammy and he, she's doing total care. On the in terms of employees, I think we're looking for someone with the right attitude, commitment, um, people that share the same philosophy that you do and that the system does, um, set up interviews and hire the right people, the right attitude. An attitude in Oklahoma that's much more positive than the rest of the nation.